Welcome one and all, I'm Decoy, back with another camp of the week, and this time we're checking out Zuka's camp. His camp is all about trading, vending, all the good merchant stuff you could want from a camp. And first of all, I gotta say, he chose to build in a pre-existing structure, which I gotta say is both cool and unique. I wonder how many of you enjoyed that. But anyways, this place looks amazing at night, all lit up. And starting off right over here, I like how the posters look when they're placed on these windows. It looks really cool. Of course, he's got his vending machines right here, fully taking advantage of the pre-existing structure. Gotta have that hero of the wasteland statue. I mean, who doesn't want a statue that explodes? It's freaking cool. Now, off to the side of that building is where he put all of his vending machines. It's a small structure, but he's got his vending machines, got all of his workbenches, or most of his workbenches in here. And overall, I gotta say, it looks pretty nice in here. Fairly clean. I mean, it's a little cluttered, but not overly cluttered. And I really love... I love the idea of putting the frog on top of the stove. I, I gotta admit, I kind of, I kind of stole that idea. I saw it and I was like, "Why, why didn't I do that?" Time to go put a frog on a stove. Now we head back into his restricted access area. That's where you'll find his decontamination shower, entrance into the little pre-made store, right here. Now he did decorate it a little inside here. Not a whole lot, which is probably for the for the best. You go throwing too much in there, it's just going to get messy. And then he had his power armor uh, workstation. And this room right here is for doing private trading, from what I understand. But then again, I guess you could lock somebody in there, just for the fun of it. I and mean, why not? Now we'll start to work our way around the outside of the camp. Of course, he's got his billboard up there. And when I was talking to him, he mentioned that recently they added the newer billboards with stuff actually on them. And we both came to the same conclusion that it kind of sucks that we paid 500 atoms for the blank billboard, and yet you get four billboards with stuff on them for the same price. That not the coolest thing ever. He is uh, rocking a Mothman billboard back here, which is pretty freaking cool. I haven't actually got to take advantage of that one yet. But overall, I gotta say, for what his camp is set up for, it's awesome. And he's still getting to enjoy his Deathclaw topiary. Uh, I'm really looking forward to them bringing those back. Now, up here... He does have his generator safely tucked away, which I'm a fan of I'm trying to keep that thing safe, because if it blows up, it kind of sucks. So overall, it is a really cool camp. So I gotta say huge thanks to Zuka for sharing this with everybody. And if you want to see your camp shown in Camp of the Week, all you gotta do Hop down in the comments and give me your gamer tag. You're going to have to be on Xbox. I hope you've enjoyed it. Please remember to like, sub, and share. Later.